This is John Smith with your WECT Sports. For the second straight week, NASCAR running under the lights. Tonight, Kentucky running on track that well has been killing tires for the racers and they, well, barely got any qualifying in because of the rain and picked this one up. Tenth caution of the day, Brad Kozlowski passes Kevin Harvick with the lead. 68 laps to go, final lap, Kozlowski and, well, Carl Edwards both running low on fuel. And it is Kozlowski having enough fuel to pick up the victory. His fourth of the season, Carl Edwards finishes second, followed by Ryan and Newman. Kerpush, Tony Stewart, they close out the top five. Charleston, the shortest road trip for the Wilmington Hammerheads. Well, tonight, team making its second shortest trip. The Hammers to Charlotte's Battle of the Independence. Pick this up the first half. It's a beautiful pass. Head to Casey Townsend. He knows what to do with it. Puts it in the back of the nets. One nothing. Hammers 43rd minute. Stay that way till extra time of the first. Lewis Hilton, the goal. This one went into the half, knotted one apiece. Second half, 65th minute. Justin Moose finds the speedy Austin Martz, scores the game winner. Hammerheads win it two to one. They're now six, five and five on the season. Stay with soccer. U.S. women's soccer team taking on South Africa and friendly. That's Hope Solo. Before the Olympics, 35th minute, Crystal Dunn, that's the goal. That would be it. One nothing for Hope Solo, her 100th clean sheet. Friday night, the Women's Sharks five game winning streak came to an end tonight. The Sharks one road game or one game against until the All-Star break. And well, the Sharks will go into the All-Star break with a two game losing streak. Moorhead City beating the Sharks five, four and ten innings. Sharks led four to three going into the ninth, but couldn't. Hang on Braves on the south side of Chicago. Taking on the White Sox in Atlanta. Jumped on the scoreboard first. Gordon Beckham. As he said, that ball was hammered out of the ballpark. Solo shot one and nothing Atlanta with the lead, but the White Sox took control. Todd Frazier, 25th home run of the season. Made it 2-1, to one, but they led 5-1. Braves fall 5-4. Speaking of those White Sox, have sent former NC State pitcher Carlos Rodon to the 15-day disabled list. Rodon sprained his left wrist while bracing his fall as he walked up for the national anthem. White Sox manager Robin Ventura said, Rodon, not too graceful, hopes he could miss only one start. Carolina Hurricanes, well, they have signed both of their most recent first-round draft picks of entry-level contracts. 13th overall pick Jake Bean and 21st pick Julian Gunther. Both will make 832,000 at the NHL level, 78 at the AHL. They've also received hefty signing bonuses, $277,000. It was a battle of the top two picks this past year's NBA draft. 76ers, Lakers in the Summer League. Well, Kansas native Duke standout Brandon Ingram, seven points, four rebounds for that second overall pick. Top pick Ben Simmons, eight points, 10 rebounds. But guess who won the game? Lakers pick up the Summer League victory by one. Third round of the U.S. Women's Open, par 3 12th, Lee Lopez. And that is a perfect club. Doesn't look very good at first because it, well, goes all the way to the right and then it's going to find the slope and just keep on coming down the hill and picks up some speed and then you have to listen. The sound all golfers like the hole in one for the second straight U.S. Open. The world's number one, Lydia Ko, shot back, gets to go. She has a two-stroke lead. She is seven under par. Uh, no matter what position I'm in, you know, it's always to finish uh, with a birdie on the last hole is is a lot of good memories. You know, I think I try to stay patient and calm out there today. And all right, and a last look at your forecast. 95 the high temperature for tomorrow. Chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, I think, after, say, 4 or 5 o'clock. About 20 and 30 percent chance. A little better chance during the overnight hours, and then even more better chances as we head towards Monday and Tuesday. A little cooler as well. All right, thank you for joining us. Have a great night, and your news continues now on WECT.com.